Yeah, it's that time of year again, isn't it? <laughs> totally stupid. <laughs> You said keep a straight face, and uh, anyway, get, get on with it. Yeah, so welcome to this Vanners collaboration, and guess what? This month we're looking at the best Christmas present for motorhomer in this case, yes. or caravaner, or trailer tenter. Yeah, or whatever, yeah. Or yeah. What, yeah, it's got to be a vehicle, this one, hasn't it? Yes, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is a Vanners collaboration. Every month we do a collaboration, a number of other people who... Scrolling what? across there, weren't they? Oh, what? Then they were scrolling across. Oh, they'll across. be across there, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yes, and it's Christmas! It's just... uh, right. <laughs> so, uh, we, we each bought ourselves a Christmas present, didn't we? We did, yeah, but we're going to concentrate on the Christmas present you decided we'd need. and. I'm going to ask you some questions about so you're it. You're going to interrogate yeah. me on it, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, uh, so. so don't forget to watch the other videos um, that may be a, a lot more sensible than us that's, and better ideas. Yeah. Uh, and there'll be a card at the end of this video and you can you can check that out and uh, see what other people are suggesting you buy for Christmas. Right. So what, what are we concentrating on here? What's it called to begin with? Yeah, well, let's tell a little story. I went, I went to Todd's to get the habitation service uh, and MOT done, and I came back with spending rather more than I'd you intended. You were supposed to, yeah. I yeah. was allowed to. Yes, <laughs> so, yeah. So I bought a Avtex, um, I can't remember the number of it, I think it's AMR985, uh, Wi-Fi router fitted to the van. Yes. So I, I paid for it and had it fitted. fitted. I think you were surprised that that they could fit it at the time, weren't you? Yeah. We thought, we had talked about it obviously beforehand and uh, it suggested, didn't it, that yeah. uh, you got it fitted by a dealer, so I said, well, we'll be Todd's when you go. Yeah. And they said, oh, we'll be able to fit it for you. So you decided, you took a managerial well, decision. Well, yeah, and I, I mean, I, I said, I'd, I'd just, you don't have to do it now, but I'd rather like one of those Avtex routers fitted. And they just said, okay, then we'll do that. We'll do that, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes. So, so I came back and you said? I said, oh, I didn't know you were, you were going to get it fitted that quickly. No, but... you didn't actually say that. You said, <laughs> how much? <laughs> yeah, OK, right. So, so that leads us on to the first question. First question. So how much did it cost to buy and have fitted? It, I, we've seen it on Amazon for 349 uh, to buy. Yeah. And uh, Todd's were selling it at 349 uh, or 449 fitted. Yeah. So I, I thought that wasn't too bad. It would save me quite a bit of work. And yeah. there was another good reason for having it fitted by Todd's, is if you've got a motorhome that's got a body shell warranty and you don't really fancy invalidating that warranty by drilling holes in your roof. Yes, I think that's what I was worried about when you first told me about it. You were going to do it yourself. It was, yeah. it was that. So I was yeah. quite happy for, for them to do it. Yeah. So then the other question I said to you was, um, haven't we got a... a good enough um, Wi-Fi router what's what's the matter with the Netgear <laughs> yeah so we got a perfectly good Netgear router which we were given and uh, we've been using that for God, I think we said three four years three or four years and it's been yeah. absolutely perfect it's been fine um, big advantage of course of the Netgear is it's portable it's got a battery in it this hasn't got a battery in it it's fitted to the motorhome right and you can't move it so there's a disadvantage of this so how does it get its power then? Well, it's wired into to the twelve volt system. Oh, I see. Right. So okay. it's, it's powered yeah. from the motorhome. So it's always on. Yes. Um, so um, you should really switch it off every so often. So I will have to unplug it when we're in storage for a, a while. No, we don't in storage when we're we're on the drive, drive for a while. <laughs> we don't do storage, do we? So, yeah, but no. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's permanently powered by the motorhome. Right. Um, and when we were talking about it, I mean, I thought one of the advantages was that we could have more than one SIM, can't we? Yeah, we can have two SIMs in it. We've actually put two SIMs in it. I will do a full video on yeah, this later, this so just... I don't want to go into too much no, detail. No. But you can put two SIMs in it, which I think what will mean for us is when we go abroad, we could buy a SIM when we're abroad, a French or a Belgian or Luxembourg SIM, if yeah. Luxembourg do such things. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can put it in the other slot so that yeah. you can switch over to them so that you can use a say a, an unlimited sim while you're over there and not worry about using your roaming allowance now uh, the thing with this 
uh, router it actually comes with a sim that's got an unlimited data and a european plan so again You'll have to watch the the other video in a bit more detail. You have to go into all that. But yeah. it does mean yeah. you can have two sims in it, which you can't have in the in the net. That, yeah, I mean we have found, even in the UK last year, that some areas Vodafone was great, other areas it was EE. Yeah. So when we were relying on EE, we we're relying on our phones. Yeah. And of course you you were always answering comments and things like that. It was difficult to share the data on your phone. Yeah. Um, because every time you were going to do something else, you'd cut the. Uh, Netflix off. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and hopefully it will give us a better Wi-Fi signal. That's the signal mm. that you're picking up on your phones and your laptop, and which you need which to I, update. Which, yeah, you know, right. to update, upload yeah. videos, don't you? But the the other thing about it is, some while ago when we had a satellite system, we spent nearly twelve hundred pounds on a satellite system, and mm. we were. Uh, always moaning that we couldn't get a signal because the trees were in the way and all that sort of thing. Yeah. The, the satellites are going out of fashion f faster mm. than you can imagine. Yeah, yeah. Lots of people are invested in Wi-Fi routers, so I think it's a really good idea for a motor. I mean, you can use it for Netflix, you can use it for iPlayer, uh, and if you add a VPN to it, you can watch Netflix when you're abroad as well. So. That's right. Or, or the iPlayer. I think Dan Trudgeon did a video on You're it. On the VPN for yeah. it, yeah. 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 So, so, so you know, I was quite, quite pleased, really. Yeah. And when you said it was going to be fitted uh, while it was there. And, yeah. Yeah. So I've got to get to grips with it. I've put, been doing some testing, but we haven't been out and used it yet. No. So we don't know how good, bad. Should be better anyway, shouldn't it? Well, it should give us more choice and nothing yeah, else. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so that's my Christmas present. You got, is that all right now? Am I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in favour. You're back in favour, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. All, All right, right. Uh, so, so that's it then, yeah? Yeah, that's it. So it only remains for us to um, <laughs> we'll take these silly hats, hats off. Let's get not again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you have been watching this far, thanks for watching. And we'll catch up with you in another one. And don't forget to watch the other videos. I'm sure there'll be some really good ideas in those uh, those other videos. Uh, if we don't see you before, and we probably will see you before, Hmm. Do we say happy Christmas? Merry Christmas, yeah, yeah. happy new year. Happy new year, and uh, let's hope it's a good one. Yeah. I feel like bursting out into <laughs> Slade at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I won't do that. All right, so okay, we'll see then. you soon then. Yeah, bye, bye then. then.